YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Today, I'm going to be discussing um, reaction to this Empress Radio, who's another blogger who spills a lot of tea on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, please go to her channel for all of the Love and Marriage Huntsville tea. She always um, has, you know, what is going on. But um, the issue is actually with Martel's side chick, former side chick, slash baby mama, who some people call coleslaw, um, and she's basically known as Ariane. Um, essentially, she claims that she doesn't watch the show. She claims that she has no idea what's going on on the show. However, like I said in a previous video, she, you know, immediately when the credits come on for the show is already on Instagram, already doing an Instagram live, already posting in her stories, trying to respond to refute anything that was said. And it always just blows up in her face. It always turns out to be a hot mess. She always claims that she's going to spill the tea and tell the truth. And all she does is she drops little droplets of things and then she plays victim when people call her out and, you know, see through her for what she is. So, this go around, you know, she's trying to expose Maurice, she's trying to expose Marceau and expose, expose their cheating. And it's great and all, you know, we're here for the tea, but we have an issue with the source and we have an issue with the person who you don't have a platform, you know, on this show at all. Um, because if they felt you were well enough to be on the show, you'd be on the show. And so, you know, you have to resort to these antics on Instagram. And so she was doing one of her many lives once again, um, you know, responding to the fact that Marceau did a response video to her cheating allegations. Wanda, Marceau's mother-in-law, did a response video to the alleged cheating allegations. And, you know, Ariane, she always wants to respond to the response. And it's like, Why? Like you, you set these things on fire and then you want to run around and play victim and then you get right back on social media um, because you like the attention, you like what people are viewing and what people have to say about you and everything else. And it's just like we see through you. So anyways, she's on another live and Empress Radio, who is one of the bloggers who posts a lot of tea about Love and Marriage Huntsville is in the live and... Ariane loses it and calls her out. And then after the live, you know, tries to like post like inappropriate information about her and trying to like, you know, call her out, call her names and try to refute the tea that Empress Radio has accurately spilled on her. You know, it's not her fault that Ariane is doing Instagram lives showing the address where she lives. It is not her fault that Ariane chose to be a side chick to a married man who then went on national television and called her a peasant and still, you know, tried to, you know, make things happen with his wife, regardless of whatever he was telling her behind the scenes. And now that Mel finally divorced him, you know, the thrill is gone. There's no reason for, you know, the two of them to, you know, be in sync outside of, you know, the needs of the child that they share together. But Martel no longer, it's no longer fun to juggle between Mel and, you know, Arian because, you know, Mel divorced him and said, forget this mess. So it's just funny that Ariane wants to pick and choose which bloggers she wants to come for and wants to try to claim that they can't speak on her. But everybody, it's a free country. You can speak on whoever you want to. Like this whole thing where people need to police on what people can say or do, especially with these reality stars, is comical. Like, or no, let me correct that. Ariane is a wannabe reality star. Um, her baby's father is the one and his ex-wife are the ones that are actually on the TV show that his ex-wife actually created and pitched to the network. So how about that? Um, you want to be on this show. And since you can't, you do these lives, you do these stories and try to out people partially. And then you want to run and play victim. And it's just not cool. It's not cool. All of the bloggers have dragged you, including the ones that you chose to do interviews with. So therefore, you know, it's free game. 
and this whole notion that only your quote unquote supporters are going to follow you, that's that's crap. First of all, you were the one that exposed yourself. We didn't even know who you were. We didn't even know that you were the mistress. You outed yourself because you wanted to be seen. And your fro- first post was, I see you guys have been looking for me. This is who you've been looking for or whatever you said. So you wanted the attention. You wanted people to find you. And now that you don't like the narrative, you don't like the fact that people are calling you a Honda Accord. You don't like the fact that people are calling you coleslaw. You don't like the fact that people are still calling you a side piece and that Martel is funding your lifestyle allegedly and that you allegedly have bad credit. So you want to come for other people and take it out on them instead of taking it out on yourself for getting involved in this foolishness, as well as how you keep getting played by your baby's father. And that's really all the bottom line of it is. Like, you know, props to Empress Radio because, you know, she really could have went in and really (laughs) tore this girl to shreds because she really has some nerve, you know, to try to come for bloggers. Like, we're all here to, you know, report on the news, to spill the tea, And if you have an issue, you can come on any of the platforms and speak on it. But this passive aggressiveness where you want to share other people's business, but then when it's time for your business to come out, you want to cry boo hoo and, you know, try to out people and try to expose where people live allegedly and try to expose their personal business like that's so childish and it's so immature. And I see why she, you know, didn't finish nursing school. And why she spends all of her time on social media. How's the boutique doing? Because you never promote that. You promote everybody else's business on the show. That's what you promote. But you still can't make it on the show for some reason. And it's been years now. So that is all I have to say. Um, I just wanted to quickly react to the nonsense because it's like none of the bloggers are doing anything wrong. They're spilling the tea. They're sharing what's going on. And that's on that. You know, this whole thing where, you know, you're going to keep doing these reaction videos and keep doing these lives and, you know, everything else, drawing more attention to yourself um, because you want to be a reality star. Like, stop it. If you really were minding your business, you would ignore the noise of the show, but you can't help yourself. You cannot help yourself. So it is what it is. So hopefully, you know, we don't hear for her (laughs) again, but I imagine she, you know, is Googling herself as we speak to find out, you know, who and what is speaking on her. And it is what it is. You know, it truly is what it is. Because you didn't have the smoke for the other bloggers who have some larger platforms that said worse things about you. You freely gave them an interview and it was and it was on and popping. So if you're not going to keep that same energy with all bloggers, then stop it. And once you exposed yourself to be the mistress, you were fair game for people to discuss. And you kept bragging for the longest time and trying to slander the wife and Melody to make yourself feel better about the situation. And even when it's all said and done, you still have nothing to show for it but another baby out of wedlock. That's what you have to show for it. And stop doing these lives where your kids are crying in the background. Go tend to your kids. See, that's the thing. Your focus is all messed up. You need to be focusing on being a good parent to your children instead of trying to find attention on social media because you can't handle the backlash. So that is all I had on this Ariane mess. It just seems like every time she starts speaking on something or going live or sharing something in her stories, things always tend to go left and things always end up a disaster. And I just wanted to know what you guys thought about it. Um, So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the latest drama going on with Ariane. And if this is your first time viewing my channel, welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe um, before you guys go. And as usual, I will talk to you guys again very soon.